Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wise Guys Entertainment. This is your host, Wyman. We are opening another box. Uh, we are showcasing Merry Boys. Excellent book. Uh, be sure and check it out if you can get yourself a copy. Uh, today's package is from Luke Stone uh, Studios. You can see Arrow Comics is on the outside. Let's dig in and see what we got. Scissors. Maybe I should just keep a um, box cutter on hand in my place for these box openings. As of late, I've been needing my tools, so I've been uh, keeping everything, but uh, keeping everything. Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, as of late, I've been keeping everything in the what you call it, doohickey, what you call it, <laughs> in my car. All right, so this is this. Um, probably trash the box. All right, so what we got here is Rift Riders. This is actually the Piper Steve variant. <laughs> um, and then, oh, wow, look at that, look at this metal print, that's pretty slick, looks good. Um, all right, so this is, oh, uh -oh. Ah, something stuck to my, something stuck to my toes. Um, and thrown in there kind of loose-like. We got a, a standee. Pretty cool. It's a uh, joint venture. Between Luke Stone and Piper Steed. And art is by John Dillard. Actually, is it? It feels like it. It feels like that was the top. This one isn't like some of the standees that you can get where they leave the plastic film on. This one actually has the plastic film already off. Whoops, uh-oh, uh-oh. So I pushed the stand, pushed it all the way through the stand, but it's a little too far now. So it's gonna be rocking if I, if I leave it as is. So now I'm trying to pull it out some. So it won't wobble. All right. So now it should be flat. You can't see it, but it sits flatter now. So that can go with my standee collection, which is sweet. Um, I got this. Let me see what it says. Luke Stone Studios. Oh, yeah. I got a, a drawstring, drawstring bag. I don't know what it means by X8. Um, how's this open? Uh, I'll just tear it open. Bam, bam, bam. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I currently have a little fan on me. I'm going to try and reduce my electric bill by not running my AC all the time. 
Wow. Jeez. This feels quite sturdy. Look at that. Same image both sides. I typically don't use drawstring bags, but this would be fun to use. Um, let me set it over there. And then uh, let's open this up. This should be pretty good. Some fun reading. All right. So that'll be cool. I'll have to double check, but I think I'm supposed to be getting more stuff. I'm sure I bought more than just this. But I'll show you what else was in the box. All right, so basically we've got the book. And then we got a metal print. And then we've got the original book with some stickers. This is the original cover, actually. This is the John Dillard version. So John Dillard did this one. Piper Steed did this one. So the Piper Steed variant was like a limited time only, so I had, to, I had to get that. Let's get these stickers out. Oops, there's more. Wow. I forgot there were as many, so many stickers. All right. And again, this is the other cover. So I got one of each cover there, and look at, whoa, sheesh. I'll look at the stickers in a moment, but I got three more metal prints. Good golly. Came out really nice. And I'm not sure, but I think this, I think this is, was done by Daphne Lodge, Lage. If I'm not mistaken. All right, so those are metal prints. That goes in the prints pile. And then the books go in the books pile. Let's check out these stickers. Oh, actually, wait a minute. They're not all stickers. All right, so we got trading cards. Uh, Rivia. Israel Hogwood. Lunas. Oh, wow. A sketch card? Nice. Uh, the only criticism I have about uh, trading cards is that if, if it showcases a vehicle or a character, I really would prefer to have, like, you know, the, the branding and maybe an alternative image of their portrait. And uh, maybe their stats, or at least a little description about, you know, where they're from and what book they're from. And I always prefer, you know, even if it's in smaller print, you don't want to be too tiny a print because it still has to be legible. But I like it if it says uh, from... As an example, first seen in Rift Riders issue number one, for example. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, training cards. Uh, let's see. Training card pile.
And then we got stickers. There's one. Oh, these look like 6 a.m. comics. Peel here. Oh, it even tells you where to peel it from. Nice. Looking forward to the second book. All right, so stickers and that pile. So, awesome. All right, so that's Rift Riders. And uh, thanks very much for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe, mark the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.